when you're making a documentary or production for class, you're you face it with the challenge of taking something that's usually pretty unexciting and presenting it in an exciting manner. That was definitely our biggest challenge with this project yeah. in the quad because it's something that we all see every day and it's sort of like lost, lost in shine. It's, it's lackluster now. We s spotted Francis from all the way across the quad actually. I think he's a maintenance worker. And he smiled at me and I saw his missing four front teeth and he said hi my name's Francis and so I think that's when we kind of knew that uh, he was he was a magical subject. A lot of people told me say thank you very much uh, you pick up on campus. They smash bottles all the time so we got to clean it up so like you know, we get a call we get a call on the radio and we got to sweep the broken glass up how does it make you feel when they break the glass? Well, you know, you know, I go home every night. I see the broken bottles. And they smash bottles in the road, smash bottles on the sidewalk. So, you know, they have, uh, they have to get used to that. How long have you been working here, Francis? Uh, 42 years. Yeah, yeah. I see the first I work, first I work in the food service, yeah. sort of open on the ground. So then I built that job on the ground, so I got that job. And the food service not make that much money. I remember a long time ago, like I'm bringing home about ninety five dollars a week. I had a, I had a wife. My wife, my wife wanted everything, you know, clothes and the stuff who need. I asked myself, well, I gotta get a better job. It'll make more money. So I did. We were thinking since you've been here for 40 years or so, um, we wanted to maybe ask you how you think the quad has changed or how campus has changed. Yeah, in a lot of buildings, like the Ann Anderson Science Tech, Ernie Davis, brand new dorms. How do you think the people have changed? Well, like, uh, I see a lot of people, I see a lot of people who come and go all the time up here. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of people quit, a lot of people get a job up here. Yeah, I try and get my lady up here to work. <laughs> I say, nah, nah, no, a little too much, uh, a little too much work for me. My hand is numb so bad. And like, in my hand uh, cramp up, you know, like. Uh, I need help. He said, I can't pick up the whole campus, campus screen by myself. And I go home nighttime, I'm tired and sore. I do a long time go like, I show the dome steps, and like, we got a great big uh, shovel. So we uh, push all the snow down, so. We step down like this back way yeah. on the steps. Once I fall on the steps, underhand the knee placement. Oh wow. Yeah, and still bother me. Yeah. After a while you start to feel bad for a man like Francis. He's so humble and hardworking that he couldn't even talk to us about the quad without talking about his job. As the sun rose and the students started to flood the quad, it made sense to me. For the last 40 years, Francis has been stuck by himself out here. It's a rare occasion when a student stops by to talk to him, and you can see it in his excitement in our interview. Meeting Francis taught me more about the quad than any historian or book could. He reminded me what the quad is all about. Community. Congregation. 